Hey, what's happening, sports fans? What's happening? This is Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. You guys already know what's up. You guys know the deal. You guys know what I do. I talk sports. Today, I'm talking about KD because he, yes, he blew up the internet. You know, the internet exploded um, when he dropped the NBA's latest bombshell. You know, and I mean, what more can you really say about KD? This is typical of Kevin Durant, right? Wanting out, you know, taking the easy route to an NBA championship. This is not that surprising, ladies and gentlemen. You know, yes, it's surprising to hear him request a trade, out of Brooklyn, you know, but it's KD. KD wants to play somewhere where he has a legitimate shot of winning an NBA championship. And for the Brooklyn Nets, I mean, it was just a catastrophic season. And now the off season is looking like a catastrophe. For the Brooklyn Nets, right? This had a lot of people, you know, dropping their jaws today. Um, a lot of people are wondering now where KD can end up. That's a good question. Because now I'm hearing rumors... That are floating around. You know, now I'm seeing Photoshop images of him in different colored jerseys, right? The Bulls, Bulls fans are salivating right now at the fact that he could land in Chicago. You know, the Lakers. When don't they come up in these type of discussions, right? The Lakers are usually linked to big name free agents like KD. And KD would definitely definitely transform the Lakers if he lands with the Lakers. Who do you trade for him? Who do you package in the deal? Do you trade AD? That's the only way you're going to get KD. You would have to trade AD, package him in that deal. I saw Steve Mason's treat, tweet uh, a well-known radio personality here in Los Angeles. I saw his tweet earlier today. And he says that makes a lot of sense. And I, I, I think a lot of Laker fans feel the same way. That that makes a lot of sense. You package AD. You, you swap AD for KD. Will it happen? Kyrie Irving has already been linked to the Lakers. He wants to... Team up with his old friend, LeBron James. It could be a reunion here in Los Angeles. We'll see. Um, but this has been a crazy day in the NBA. It's utterly insane. It has people going crazy. It has people losing their minds. You know, because there was... No, you know, there was no, there was nothing to indicate what was about to happen uh, when KD dropped this bombshell on Thursday afternoon that he wanted out of Brooklyn, you know. Um, just like that, um, in a stunning move, in a move as stunning as the Brooklyn Nets getting swept by the Celtics, Durant is walking away yet again, chasing another ring, another championship ring with a new team. He's going to end up elsewhere. The biggest question now is where do he end up? You know, and you know, there's no doubt in our minds that He's a talented player. When he's actually on his game, we all know that, right? 
And he can certainly be one of the best players in the NBA. He's a 12-time All-Star, a four-time scoring champion, and he has been widely recognized as the second best player in the NBA behind LeBron James. Um, but this, ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, this was predictable. Okay, it is clear to us now that Durant, who just completed his third year with the Nets, feels compelled to take the easy route. Okay. He's going to go wherever he feels the team is ready to win a championship. He's going to join another team that's already stacked and complete to win a championship. You know, and I applaud him in in a way because to me, he stood up to, he stood up for himself. Why am I going to waste my precious years in Brooklyn? Playing alongside Kyrie Irving, I don't know where his mind is. I don't know if he is committed to playing this game. I came to Brooklyn in the first place to join forces with this guy, thinking that we can form this great partnership and win multiple championships. And it just hasn't worked out. And so now KD is willing to move on and play somewhere else where he can contend and win an NBA championship. See, that's what it's all about for KD. But you can't trust Kyrie Irving. Isn't that why James Harden left? Isn't that why James Harden was unhappy? And didn't produce at the level that we are accustomed to see him because he felt that Kyrie wasn't the guy, a guy that you can trust. See, that's a huge problem. Kyrie Irving is to blame for a lot of this. He's not, he, I mean, there's enough blame to go around. But he's, you know, he's a huge part of why this Brooklyn team suffered a first-round playoff exit and didn't even win a game. They got swept in the first round against Boston. And I, I, I get it. It was, you know, he didn't feel comfortable with the vaccine. This was all about his, un, you know, his vaccination status. And everything. And that's why he missed a chunk of games. But by missing a lot of games and not being on the floor. And I'll say this again. The Nets weren't able to develop that chemistry. They weren't able to develop that cohesion. And that's why Brooklyn is in the mess that they are today. That's why this is a calamity. This is, you know, it, 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 it's probably, it, it's, when you really look at, look at it, it's an astonishing collapse for the Brooklyn Nets. And now Kevin Durant is available for trade. It just changes the entire landscape of the league. It really does. It's going to transform this league wherever he ends up. You know, and now the Nets have an opportunity to, you know, rebuild and get good players uh, because the hall is going to be massive. Whatever they get in return is going to be massive. But I don't think people realize how complicated this, this will be to pull off. Like, this won't be an easy deal to get done. And Sean Marks, I, 
I'm pretty sure he's going to be calling around, you know, inquiring for, uh, inquiring about a number of assets, you know, um, you know, the Brooklyn Nets are going to be looking for a lot in return for KD, no doubt about it. But what we saw from this Brooklyn Nets team last season, it was the most colossal underachievement in modern NBA history. Okay, I'll put it that way. This was the biggest underachievement by any NBA team in recent memory. Because coming into the season, they were favorites to win it all. They were preseason favorites. You know, but again, Kyrie Irving used a convenient excuse once again to not play basketball. This time he was able to use the vaccine because, you know, and, and, and you know, again, that's his personal belief. He has that right. He's entitled to feel however he wants to feel about the vaccine. But because he refused to take the vaccine, he wasn't able to be on the court with his teammates. And KD is not going to stay in a place where he doesn't have a superstar playing alongside him. And, you know, if I'm KD, I'm leaving too because Kyrie Irving obviously isn't reliable he's not dependable i don't i don't think we ever questioned his ability to play the game we questioned his availability and his reliability you know but this is a mess this is this is a complete mess um you know it's a tough day for brooklyn because now Brooklyn's about to go into a rebuild. Seriously, they're about to lose both of their superstars. And Kyrie Irving's going to end up somewhere else, too. I don't know where. He's been linked to the Lakers. I think he wants to reunite with LeBron. Team up with his old buddy, his old friend. KD. I can see KD going to Philly. I can see KD ended up in Miami, ending up in Miami. But he has a wish list. And one of those teams on his wish list is the Phoenix Suns. See, that, that's what I'm saying. He wants to play somewhere where the team is already established, where the team is already stacked and has the star power to win. Phoenix is arguably a player away from winning the NBA championship. They add Kevin Durant to their team. They're most likely going to be favorites. No question about it. Favorites to win the NBA championship next year. You know, so. I mean, you know, the, the, the Suns are, are in play for him. I would think the Sixers. If you're the Sixers, you could probably package Tobias Harris. You know, you, you're going to have to throw Tyrese Maxey in there, too. I mean, you, you, you gonna, uh, Sean Marks is going to ask for Tyrese Maxey. He's going to definitely be packaging that deal. But you'll get Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant will team up with James Harden. And they'll have a chance to win the championship again. They'll have a chance to win the championship together. James Harden will have a chance to get his first NBA championship. I can also see him, you know, teaming up with Jimmy Butler in Miami because Miami has a lot of valuable assets that they can trade. You know, you have Duncan Robinson, you have Tyler Hero, who's a big name over there. You have a number of guys that you can move on that roster, but whoever wants KD, a constellation prize. If you want KD, and if you're willing to give up a lot for KD, you're gonna have to push all your chips to the table to make it happen. That's the only way you're gonna land KD. You know. But 
the thing is, too, will KD flake out on his next NBA team if it doesn't go the way he plans for it to go? Let's just say if one of his teammates gets injured and all of a sudden he becomes disgruntled and he demands another trade. See, that's that's the thing right there. It's like, it's a trust issue. It's a trust issue with KD. It's hard to believe him if he's going to, you know, play or not. If he's going to... Stick with a team or not. And and he hasn't shown me that. You know. But. We'll see. It's, it's going to be a crazy free agency. You know. It, it, it's it's going to be. It's going to be a wild summer. And I'm just curious now. To see where KD ends up. But. I'll see you guys later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out. Any. Content on my channel. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night.